I am very sad to say, this Tuesday I go back to school. Very sad indeed. I just don't want to go back to school. Sucks, but it happens every year, so I'm already used to it. I get to drive to school, which is, all, which is pretty cool. But I, oh, I wanted this summer to be an amazing, but in one word, if I had to define this summer, it would be meh. Besides The Conjuring, Finding Dory, Jason Bourne, and yeah, those are my top three movies I think of, of the summer. And now, let's just go ahead and ask, add this movie to the list. Swiss Army Man. Welcome to my final summer movie review. And uh, now, with this movie, I heard so many bad things mixed with good things about this movie. And I wanted to see it for myself, but I missed it. And then, not even kidding, one showing, I went and saw it, and I came back, and I actually saw this movie two days ago, and I had to process it because of how much I liked it, but I didn't want to pull an enemy review and be like, this is amazing, but I wanted to think about it, but again, I'm pulling an enemy review, and I'm saying this movie is so different, but I loved it. This movie is so good. Now basically this movie is about Paul Dano, he's stranded on this island, he's all by himself, he's literally about to hang himself in the very first scene, and then he sees a dead body wash up onto the beach, and guess what, it's Daniel Radcliffe, he's dead, and guess what, he can do all these kind of tricks, he can fart, he can talk, he can make fire, he can shoot, he can shoot, he can, shoot, he can come a jet ski, he can just smash a rock with his arm, he's a Swiss Army knife, but basically a Swiss Army man. That's why it's was called. So Paul Dano takes Dan Radcliffe and he tries to get out of the wilderness, get back home to his girlfriend, his family, and all that kind of stuff. And he's also teaching Dan Radcliffe the dead body about life, lessons, what to do, what's wrong. And oh my gosh, this movie is one first things first. I died laughing in this movie. This movie is so funny. I thought this movie was really funny. It's really clever how he tells what direction to go. I thought that was really funny. It's a little ridiculous in a few scenes, but it, to me, it felt funny and ridiculous enough to where I really did enjoy it. Um, I thought the acting was on par, like no one could have played these characters. The guy, Paul Dano, he is a really underrated actor. He killed in this role. He was great in this role. No one could have played his character. And Daniel Radcliffe, I know him from Harry Potter. I grew up with Harry Potter. I love him in Harry Potter. But man, he was so good in this movie as this dead body. He was hilarious. He was sweet. He was awesome. He was a cool character. And I love the lessons and the metaphors with the farts, whatever. It's so clever how they do it. You're holding it in. You're trying to build a relationship with someone. And I love how he teaches Dan Ratcliffe, and Dan Ratcliffe teaches him. I love their relationship. I love how they just go through this forest and survive together. And this movie is really funny. It's touching. It's warm hearted. It's really well directed. And the soundtrack is music I probably would never hear in my life until this movie. And it was so, like, perfectly placed in this movie. The soundtrack was great. The relationship was great. The story was great. It's so original. It's so different. I can't name one of the movie a guy as a dead guy and uses him as a Swiss Army knife. It's amazing in that its own way. My only little critique, if I had to say something, there are some scenes that it's kind of ridiculous. Ridiculously stupid, like they go too overboard, too, too much, like stupid comedy. Especially how they tell directions. I won't spoil the joke, but to me that was just it was a little ridiculous. But overall, I still think Swiss Army Man is one of the best movies of the year, and I'm going to give it a really, 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 really high, just like Captain America: Civil War. A. I thought this movie was great. I was gonna give it an A plus. I felt like I needed it to, but you know, I was like, you know what? I, I there's some, there's just a few little scenes. I'm just like, oh, it's, just, oh, it's a little bit over. I thought this movie was hilarious. I thought the acting was great. The directing, it's definitely one of my top ten favorite movies of the year. Go see Swiss Army Man. If you, I mean, Swiss Army Man, if you can, it's really good. Anyway, guys, you guys enjoy this review, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.